Dogs have long been considered mankind's best friend. So it makes sense that the more dog, the better. Maybe you want to make your landlord regret telling you that you can only have one dog by picking the biggest one possible. Or maybe you want to test out your custom canine chariot. We're not here to judge your reasons, we're just here to show you the 10 biggest dogs in the world. It's adorable when dogs show off their best tricks. Some can sit, stay, or roll over. But can yours put their paw on the subscribe button? If not, you might just have to press it for them so you can both enjoy more videos from The Hub. Neapolitan Mastiff If you're looking for a huge dog and you're not afraid of a little rain or drool on your parade, check out the Neapolitan Mastiff. In addition to growing up to 31 inches from ground to shoulder, these massive Mastiffs have unique proportions that make them simply stunning to look at. If you think your ex has a big head, they've got nothing on a Neapolitan Mastiff. Their heads are huge in proportion to their bodies. Their skin is loose and has tons of wrinkles, which look much cuter on dogs than humans. It's no surprise that these rather intimidating looking animals make excellent guard dogs, but they're also capable of being loving and affectionate with their families. They're not the most graceful dogs and they tend to lumber around, but when you look like this, just standing still is intimidating to any would-be criminals. Saint Bernard Made famous by the movie Beethoven, the St. Bernard is one of the first breeds we think of when we think of large dogs. They can grow up to 30 inches tall and weigh up to 180 pounds. In cartoons, they're frequently depicted carrying a barrel of alcohol around their necks to warm freezing travelers. However, this is a myth. The untrue and medically unsound rumor started based on an 1820 painting by Edwin Landseer entitled Alpine Mastiffs, reanimating a distressed traveler. Although they may not be able to mix you a cocktail, they have a long history as working dogs. They actually did help people trapped in freezing conditions, with one famous St. Bernard named Barry saving over 40 people in the mountains of Switzerland from 1800 to 1814. They were popular in monasteries and because of their gentle natures and good temperament, they became used as hospice dogs because few things are as comforting as a giant fuzzy drooling dog. Irish Wolfhound If you're looking for a dog with slightly more elegance and less drool, consider the Irish Wolfhound. They can grow up to 34 inches tall and have a much more sleek physique than the Neapolitan Mastiff or the St. Bernard, although many people know that they were bred to hunt large game such as deer, boar, and of course wolves, few people know they also hunted the most dangerous game, humans. Not that they had to try very hard to find them. They were used in battle and fought at their human sides, even tearing down their opponents from atop their chariots. When not in battle, Irish wolfhounds have always had a strong desire for human contact and respond best to praise and positive reinforcement. Fans of the breed describe them as calm and dignified, which certainly wouldn't be our reaction if we saw them charging at our chariot. Cuvas. Their name means guardian and they have a distinguished history as one of the three ancient dog breeds of Hungary. The Cuvas can grow up to 30 inches tall, and they have a distinctive white coat that repels dirt and water. Although you don't have to bathe them often because of this, make sure you brush them frequently. It's a time-intensive task, but it will keep them free of mats and knots. The Cuvas are a bold, independent breed and are known to be intelligent and brave. They're excellent guard dogs when trained properly, they have a long history in Hungary of being companions to important political figures and even kings. And no, we're sure that they don't have any sheep in their family trees. Even Vlad the Impaler was said to have a pet cubass. We shudder to think of what bad dreams could haunt Vlad the Impaler at night, but his faithful cubass was always by his side to keep him safe. Newfoundland The creatively named Newfoundland is from, you guessed it, Newfoundland, Canada. Their origin is unknown for sure, and there are several theories as to how they came to be. One theory even involved Vikings. However they came to be, we are certainly glad they're here. They're the very picture of a gentle giant, standing 28 inches tall and being known for their sweet disposition. Newfoundlands love children and take a special delight in pleasing their owners. So don't be put off by all the drool and shedding. A Newfoundland is a dog that needs a lot of human attention and love in order to thrive. They aren't afraid to pull their considerable weight around the house or to pull in fishing nets on the docks. 
They're great swimmers and well suited to hauling heavy loads on land or sea. Dogue de Bordeaux. When you first saw the Neapolitan Mastiff, we bet you thought you'd never seen a dog with a more massive head. But the Dogue de Bordeaux has the largest head in proportion to its body of any canine. The circumference of its head is the same as its height, which can be up to 27 inches. They're also known as the Bordeaux Mastiff, French Mastiff, or the Bordeaux Dog. One named Beasley made his film debut in the film Turner and Hooch, starring opposite Tom Hanks. While dogs can't manipulate their facial expressions the way we can, the Dogue de Bordeaux is a stubborn and serious looking dog with a personality to match. They're known for being affectionate with their families, but training them can be a challenge due to their stubbornness. They excel at being guard dogs, but can also be trained to compete in sports events such as carting, obedience, tracking, and even search and rescue. Kangal. Although they're related to the Mastiff, the Kangal doesn't have the same signature facial structure. They also have an adorably curly tail that looks more like that of a husky. Kangals can grow up to 34 inches and were bred to guard livestock in Turkey. They're also popular in Africa where they guard livestock from lions, cheetahs, and other big cats. You have to be pretty intimidating to keep a lion away from its potential meal. Kangals like to keep an eye out on their surroundings at all times and are quick to notice when something is out of place. They can be aloof to people they don't know, but are generally friendly, when they're properly socialized. With their independent streak, they tend to act more like a cat than a dog at times. Unless it comes time to do their job, in which case they'll protect their person or livestock with everything they have. Meanwhile, a cat in this situation would probably just hide under your bed. Scottish Deerhound well, its name takes away some of the surprises in this entry. The Scottish Deerhound was bred in Scotland to hunt deer. When they're not out hunting, they're known for their affectionate nature. Sir Walter Scott described the breed as the most perfect creature in heaven. That's a tall claim to live up to, but the Scottish Deerhound is a tall dog. They can grow up to 32 inches tall. Their size may be intimidating, but their personality is so friendly and affectionate that they make poor guard dogs. Although they're fast enough to catch deer, they much prefer lounging on the couch. They have a well-earned reputation for being huge couch potatoes, both literally and figuratively. Doggo Argentino. The Doggo Argentino is also known as the Argentine Mastiff and counts the Great Dane among its ancestors. They have short coats and are usually pure white. They can grow up to 27 inches tall and are stocky in appearance. These dogs are well suited to working in addition to hunting big game, they also work for the military, police departments, and can be trained as service dogs. Although this is a breed that's not afraid to work hard, they enjoy playing just as hard and have been bred to have a sweet temperament. They tend to be friendly towards humans and other animals. Despite this, they are banned in several countries including the Ukraine, Iceland, Fiji, Australia, and the Cayman Islands. Their ownership is restricted in the UK under the Dangerous Dogs Act. Great Dane The Great Dane is a huge dog breed that has shown up in many of our favorite forms of media. The classic comic strip Marmaduke features a Great Dane named Marmaduke, and what would our childhood Saturday mornings have been without the adventures of the Great Dane Scooby-Doo and his obnoxious Great Dane companion Scrappy-Doo? The tallest dog on record was a Great Dane named Zeus, who measured an astonishing 44 inches tall. Average Great Danes don't tend to get taller than 34 inches. They're known for their sweet dispositions, and while some people may call them couch potatoes, they may not be content with the couch, and prefer to make their seats on your lap. They crave physical affection from their people, and they have a lot of real estate available for petting. Bigger doesn't always mean better. But don't tell any of the dogs on our list that. Although we firmly believe that all dogs are the best dogs due to their magical transitive dog properties, dogs on this list are certainly impressive in both size and spirit. What was your favorite dog breed featured in the video? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to The Hub. See you next time!